The vision that we have for our students is that once they leave our schools, that they will have choices. They will have stackable credentials recognized by business and industry. I think the goal of public schools today, like it has always been, is to make sure that student is successful after they graduate high school. Certification is a major part of that. I think our focus has to be on career readiness. What are the skill sets that we need to provide our students when they walk that stage and get that diploma? It's one thing to sit down and interview and say, I took a computer class or I got an A or B in this class. It's completely different to take an industry recognized certification and say that this worldwide company recognizes my skills in a particular certification. And then if you would please open up the second link there, that's the document we're going to be doing all this stuff. Through. Microsoft and Certiport came to North Carolina with this proposal. And at that time, my colleagues and I became very involved with the program, implementing the Microsoft IT Academies all across the state, as well as setting up the CertiPort testing centers, one in each county in North Carolina. I think a lot goes to your vision and your mission and your goals that you set for yourself. If you want to implement a MOS certification program, you got to get your influencers aboard. you got to show them what this can do and what it can do for a child in the rest of their life. And in order to convince people that this is a good idea, it's important to have pilots. Then the pilot sites can help sell the idea to other people. So what's the first thing you need to do with that? How'd you click on the picture? That's right, go to your picture tools. Mm -hmm. We were approached by the central office and asked if we would be a pilot for this course. There were three schools in the county out of 32 high schools. And so we got in, we we're really excited about it. We learned all about the program, so we embraced it. The other schools within the county started looking at our pilot program and it allowed them to want to implement this program into their school as well. You also got to get your teachers aboard, that they get excited about this idea and the relationships that this program can provide for children. Right, so we can go there. It was really making sure we were able to find teachers that were really fired up about this program and making sure that our teachers had ample staff development, ample training to get the certification themselves so that they would understand what it is exactly their students would be going through. Then we were actually in charge of creating a blackboard shell for all of the business teachers here in the county and then the next summer we trained the rest of the teachers. Spelling, grammar, English, USA, dialogue box, suggestions. The first question I had to ask was who will be paying for this? We were able to leverage our Perkins funding, but not only Perkins, we also were able to leverage program support state funds to take what was an old Computer Applications One curriculum and replace it with the Microsoft ITA and also the opportunity for certifications for students through CertiPort. We were very fortunate because it was really a partnership between our State Department of Public Instruction, our State Superintendent of Public Instruction, the North Carolina General Assembly, our federal funding with the Carl Perkins Act, and some local funds that we put in. It came to utilizing some state funding in order to provide site licenses, at least one per local educational system in the state. So we purchased a hundred, so that enabled them to at least have one site where they could begin to get it set up to see how things would work and see how successful their students would be. And through the success of the program, we were able to get reduced pricing. We felt as if we could have one statewide licensing agreement instead of our 115 school districts. The other benefit of having a statewide licensing agreement is that our low wealth students could have the same access to these certifications as a student who lives in a very wealthy community in our state. The certification, that'd be nice because it would give me the advantage over other people. I think I'd be able to get a better job with the certification. I got Microsoft's Office Specialist Certification because it would be really good on a resume. It would be really good in college. For the very first year, we did a pilot course with the IT Academy with certification testing. And throughout that year, we had almost 90% of the students gain at least one certification. Fast forwarding to year two, we have multiplied those numbers even more so. Times have changed. What worked 50 years ago will not necessarily work now, so educators have to continue to remodel education and the Microsoft certifications and credentials really provide a win-win situation for students and parents 
and the education workforce.